let's uh, talk about adult vaccination. So vaccines are the best ways to protect yourself and your uh, loved ones. During COVID era, all of us have uh, very much realized the importance of uh, adult vaccination. So these vaccines are uh, not only for the children, uh, even adults uh, have a certain set of uh, vaccine that has to be taken to protect themselves from various uh, diseases. So what is the need for uh, adult vaccination? Few of the pediatric uh, vaccine as uh, we grow older, the immunogenicity res uh, reduces and their effectiveness comes down. So in such cases, we need to have uh, booster doses. And secondly, a uh, few of the vaccines are not given in the pediatric age group. Such of them should be given for the uh, adults. So what are the uh, barriers and uh, challenges when it comes to adult vaccine? First thing, there is a lack of uh, awareness uh, among the people regarding the need for uh, adult vaccine. And there are also lack of guided uh, recommendations or the guidelines we say for uh, adult uh, vaccination. And there is a lot of misunderstanding of the about the vaccines and their benefits that can be provided against the uh, diseases. Also, there is a lack of understanding of the safety and efficacy of the uh, vaccines. According to CDC, that is uh, Center for Disease Control, uh, there are 11 uh, adult vaccinations uh, available. So to start with, we have the flu vaccine that is generally given once a year in the month of uh, September. Second one, uh, pneumococcal vaccine, two variants are available that is PCV13 and uh, PPSV23. Each of them uh, have to be given with a two month apart. Third is Tdap vaccine. Most of us would have uh, taken this vaccine uh, when we are when during our uh, childhood, but the efficacy and the immunogenicity reduces. So there is a need to take uh, booster doses during your uh, adult period. And also most commonly it is uh, given in uh, pregnant women uh, from the week uh, 28 to 34. Next is the hepatitis uh, A vaccine. Uh, the schedule is mostly like uh, 0, 1 and 6 months. Then comes the hepatitis uh, B vaccine most commonly given in people in uh, healthcare uh, workers though, those who handle uh, uh, animals especially in the veterinary uh, setup so they are uh, given. It is a two shot uh, vaccine generally given at uh, zero month and uh, first month. Sixth one is HPV vaccine. Uh, it actually has to be taken by both uh, men and women. Although it is more commonly recommended from the age group of 9 to uh, 26. But if the people who have not taken during that time even about 26 years, they can uh, take this uh, vaccine. It does provide good amount of uh, immunity. It is generally a three dose uh, schedule given at 0, 2 and 6 months. The seventh one is the MMR vaccine that is measles, mumps and uh, rubella. It is a trivalent vaccine most commonly given in childhood but the antibody levels goes on decreasing uh, as we reach the adulthood. One uh, easy method is to get your antibody levels check against the MMR and if the antibody levels are low then you can take a booster dose. Uh, the eighth one is the chickenpox or the varicella vaccine, especially in uh, people who have never uh, su suffered from uh, chickenpox in their uh, childhood. They have to take this vaccine. Uh, it is uh, comes in uh, two doses. Uh, each dose is about four to eight weeks apart. Then the ninth one is the shingles uh, vaccine. Uh, now it is making a lot of uh, noise in the market. <clears throat> generally given in more than uh, 50 years of uh, age. It provides protection against shingles or uh, herpes zoster uh, infection. Uh, it is again a two dose uh, vaccine. The first dose should be, the second dose should be taken from two to six months apart from the <clears throat> first dose. The tenth one is the COVID vaccine which all of us have taken. It is a three dose vaccine. Generally the third dose is the booster dose. So those who haven't uh, taken the booster dose, please go and get the booster dose from your uh, nearest hospital. Then the 11th one is the meningococcal uh, vaccine. Most commonly it is covered in the uh, pediatric vaccination. Uh, in case it is not covered, you can always take them in the adult uh, hood. 
So these are all the vaccines that are available. All these are available in our uh, Manipal Hospital uh, Maleshwaram. You can always uh, walk in and uh, take these uh, vaccines. For more such information, please uh, watch out for this space. If you have any doubts, please uh, write it in the comment section. We will definitely get back to you. Thank you.